Hi friends, you are watching uh, Movie Reviews with uh, Raghuram. Uh, welcome to the weekend movies. In the weekend movies, uh, today I happen to watch uh, State of Seas, The Temple Attack, which is uh, loosely based uh, or tightly based on uh, the Akshardham uh, Temple Attack, which happened uh, in 2002 at uh, Gujarat. The only difference is uh, director Ken Ghosh has fictionalized uh, Akshardham Mandir into Krishnadham Mandir in this movie. So as I already said, uh, the movie is uh, based on uh, the terrorist attack on uh, the temple. So it was a real incident which happened uh, at uh, Gujarat in uh, 2002. It is uh, a bitter event. Uh, till today it is not uh, erased. It can never be erased from uh, the mind of uh, Indians or from the emotions of Indians uh, wherein uh, 30 people were uh, slaughtered and almost 80 people were injured within the temple premises. Uh, NSG intervened and uh, saved a lot of uh, lives in uh, that particular bitter incident. India would uh, never forget uh, the Akshardham incident uh, like other uh, terrorist attacks uh, on a country. I should tell Mr. Ken Ghosh has done a decent job uh, in uh, fictionalizing uh, that particular incident into a movie and bringing uh, in front of us those uh, bitter incidents which are painful but uh, the movie is uh, worth a watch at least once. At times it looks uh, as if uh, the movie is over uh, melodramatic and uh, leaving the track. And it's a movie and uh, in a movie only the fictional part of the story can be narrated and uh, many events uh, are actually masked from the movie perspective. And uh, yeah, so the direct director and the movie makers were uh, trying to play safe in uh, certain instances, uh, not trying to uh, tell that they have uh, exactly shown the version of uh, Akshardham uh, temple and fair enough uh, for a movie uh, these things need to be done and manipulated but overall uh, the movie gives uh, uh, the picture of uh, the massacre which happened uh, in Akshardham temple the Krishnadam temple or the Krishnadam mandir in this particular instance in the movie and how our heroes, the NSGs and uh, the local uh, police force of uh, Ahmedabad and Gujarat uh, intervened into the picture and uh, including uh, the involvement of uh, the chief minister, including some big heads and some uh, masterminds uh, to uh, avoid uh, further damage uh, inside the shrine and save many lives. This movie is uh, of course an ode and uh, big salute to the NSG commandos. So it's uh, an indirect uh, salute to all the armed forces and also the defense of uh, our country who sacrificed their lives uh, to save our lives. For me, it was a real pleasure uh, to watch uh, Akshay Khanna on screen uh, playing the role of uh, Major Hanud Singh. Akshay Khanna has uh, done a brilliant job as the Major and uh, he is almost in every frame of the movie showing his uh, presence. At one instance, you can see the Pata poster Nikla Hero uh, type of incident taking place uh, inside the shrine where he comes uh, tearing the screen uh, and even before coming tearing the screen he hits a terrorist from behind the screen. Almost all scenes uh, involving uh, Akshay Khanna. Akshay Khanna I should tell uh, is a very good actor all of us know and in this particular movie he is the soul of the movie. Remove Akshay Khanna from the equation you may not uh, enjoy the movie very much. The movie State of Seas, uh, the temple attack is uh, fast and pacey. It has uh, a very good uh, thriller moments. Uh, not a moment is wasted right from the first scene to the last scene. Every moment consists of uh, action, action and action. So for action lovers and uh, those people who want to explore uh, the uh, historical events, so the fictional uh, story uh, based on uh, historical event which already has happened. So this would be a movie to watch uh, at the weekend. Many people may get disturbed by seeing uh, the violence which takes place uh, in the temple. But uh, yeah, that is a disclaimer. Those people who are not okay with uh, seeing a lot of violence and be mm, people being killed and those people who do not want to recollect. Of course, none of us want to recollect uh, those events uh, from the Akshardham incident. So if you're not comfortable watching those scenes, kindly keep away from the movie. The movie has been given a 16 plus uh, certificate that shows uh, uh, only because there are no sex and uh, nude scenes uh, in the movie. There is no uh, much of uh, foul language being used except uh, here and there used by those uh, terrorists. 
but uh, the film is uh, clean 16 plus probably i feel is given uh, because of those uh, scenes of terrorism bloodshed and many be, uh, people being uh, killed in the part of uh, massacre which happened inside the shrine coming to the plot of the movie the opening scene starts at uh, kupwara jammu and kashmir near indo pakistan border where one of the minister's daughter has been held captive by the terrorists major hanut singh uh, played by uh, akshay kanna is uh, leading the nsg commandos uh, group in the rescue operation to rescue the daughter of uh, the minister captain bibek uh, played by akshay oberoi is also accompanying uh, major hanut singh disobeying the orders of uh, their higher official uh, major hanut singh uh, takes uh, the responsibility of uh, saving the girl and rushes into the act they managed to save the girl but they are tempted to catch the terrorists alive they had almost succeeded in the act uh, when uh, captain bibek is uh, shot dead and uh, major hanut singh is injured losing his friend uh, in front of his eyes uh, major hanut singh uh, goes into post uh, traumatic uh, stress disorder we are also shown that uh, the pistol shots uh, from uh, Hanut Singh's gun are not uh, hitting the targets uh, following that particular scene. We are shown that uh, it took a lot of time from 2001 to 2002 till the Krishna Dam uh, uh, incident where he takes uh, in charge of the Krishna Dam incident. He doesn't come out of uh, the incident of losing his uh, friend at that particular incident at JNK. In 2002 the action shifts to Gujarat wherein Major Hanut Singh is once again given the responsibility of leading his uh, NSG team to tighten the security for uh, the chief minister who is in a conference uh, for a business meet it is said that uh, the chief minister's uh, life is at risk and uh, a terrorist attack on gujarat is anticipated but the terrorists have a different plan as planned uh, they attack uh, the krishna dam temple four terrorists enter the krishna dam temple and massacre people at will they lock the main door of uh, the temple and uh, also tie up a bomb to the main door these four terrorists are masterminded uh, from pakistan so they are bargaining uh, for the release of uh, one of their leaders and companions uh, bilal naiku in the first part of uh, their plan the terrorists uh, mercilessly massacre the people kill them at will searching them for the manhunt within the temple uh, premises they search the people who are hiding everywhere and start uh, shooting them in the next part of the plan they hold the rest of uh, the pilgrims and the people within the temple premises hostage they give a deadline to uh, the prime minister of india to release mr bilal naiku or else one hostage will definitely be killed every half an hour major hanut singh uh, secures uh, the chief minister and uh, he takes the responsibility of uh, going to the krishna dam temple He and his uh, commandos uh, reach the temple, but they are instructed not to enter the temple premises and take action uh, into their hands. But as habituated, uh, Major Hanut Singh cannot control himself without entering the temple premises. He is used to break the instructions given by his higher officials only to secure the life of uh, the civilians. He believes that uh, the quicker they take the action, the more lives can be saved. the terrorists mercilessly kill uh, one person uh, kept in the captivity by that time the indian government decides to release uh, bilal naiku it is really painful to see the terrorists uh, killing a old couple as a part of their celebration of releasing bilal naiku many such acts of terrorism gives you goosebumps and uh, makes you emotional as a keen watcher of the movie it makes you to stand with the nsgs uh, and you are awaiting that the nsgs uh, go and uh, kill all those terrorists the nsgs uh, meanwhile uh, hunt down two terrorists and the remaining two terrorists go on high alert they are instructed by the leader uh, to hold the captives until uh, bilal uh, reaches them and then blast the entire shrine what exactly happens in the next part of the movie can major hanut singh and his commandos uh, save the hostages can they save all the people uh, who are uh, in captivity with uh, the terrorists can they hunt down uh, the remaining two terrorists do they have to see more uh, collateral damage and uh, loss of other lives did india release uh, bilal to get the answer for all your queries uh, watch state of seas temple attack 
as i already said uh, akshay kanna is uh, the core of the movie is the heart and soul of the movie he is the brain of the movie the other part of the supporting cast is also really good gautam rode as uh, major uh, summer chauhan looks uh, really promising on the screen though he has a small role abhimanyu singh as uh, abu hamsa the terrorist leader also has a small role and uh, plays effectively mr samir soni plays uh, the role of uh, chief minister uh, manish choksi and meer server plays uh, bilal naiku all these people have small roles but uh, they are uh, properly placed in their characters and worth mentioning are those four characters who play the terrorists in the movie they fit exactly into their character of uh, terrorists it makes you feel anger and annoyed with them in every scene they are involved abilash choudhary as a uh, terrorist iqbal dhanveer singh as a uh, terrorist hanif Mrudul Das as terrorist Farooq and Mihir Ahuja as terrorist Omar have given exceptional performance as the terrorist. If you happen to watch State of Siege uh, Temple Attack uh, at this weekend, kindly let me know how you felt about uh, watching this movie by leaving your comments in the comment box. It's a fast-paced uh, movie with uh, fresh characters or a fresh combo of uh, actors. It doesn't give you boring uh, moment at any particular point. I can't really tell that I loved this movie. but i like the movie thanks for watching my video if you allowed my video kindly like share and uh, subscribe to my channel i'll catch up with you all in my next video with that another movie review until then do take care goodbye namaste